We're going to move our hands along with a letter size warm up today. So before we start with our hands, I'm going to show you some letters here. The top row has capital letters and you'll notice that these capital letters are all the same height. They're the same amount of tall. They're all tall letters. All capital letters are tall. I only wrote up through G, but if I were to keep going, all capital letters would be that same height. They could be covered by a piece of paper that is the same height all the way across, kind of like this one. But down here, our lowercase letters come in three different sizes. Well, it's kind of like two sizes, but the way that they're aligned changes. So I like to think of it like three different sizes. There's the small size, like lowercase a, that is only half as tall as our capital letters. Then there's the tall size, like b, and d, and f, and h. Those letters are the same height, the same size as those capital letters we had looked at a moment ago. Uh, they're all tall. The third size, are the go below letters. They're kind of the same heights as those tall letters, but they don't go up as tall in our writing space and they go below the baseline. So it's kind of like three sizes for our lowercase letters. The go below ones, there's only five go below letters in all. Most of the time we want to remember to make our letters touch the baseline without going below. This paper showed my baseline. We can see the lowercase letters that are small and tall, but our go below G, uh oh, we're missing part of it because the baseline would be drawn right along where this paper is. So if we show these letter sizes with our hand, we'll show small, like this would be A. Tall letters we're going to show with our palm up like this. And then go below letters we're going to show with our palm down, like this one. We're going to start at the beginning and we're thinking about those lowercase letters since those are the ones that come in our different sizes. So move your hand to match with mine as we go through the alphabet. A, small, B, tall, C, small, D, tall, E, small, F, is tall. H. G. I almost skipped our go below. G is our first go below letter. So um, we did A, B, C, D, E, F, G for go below. H is tall. I. That line fits in the small letter space. It's a small letter. J. It's a tricky one. That's a go below. K is tall, just like those capital letters, just like capital K. The difference between capital and lowercase k is how high the sliding lines go. Those sliding lines stay in the small letter space for K. Next up, L. L is tall. M. Lowercase m is small. N. Small. O. Small. P is a go below. Q, oh, that's another go below. R is small. S in lowercase, it's small. T is tall. U, lowercase u, is going to be small. V is small. W is small. X, small. Y, that's our last go below. And Z is small. If we did our capital letters, which size hand would they all be? Because they're all the same size. All capital letters would be tall. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, 
Y and Z. All capitals would be tall. Join with our full hand. Thanks, my friends. I'll see you next time.